Bezans Healthcare apresenta Mulher Podcast. O seu podcast de saúde feminina, de médico para médico. So, hello everyone. Welcome to our Mulher Podcast, From Physician to Physician, the new podcast for gynecologists and obstetricians from all over Brazil. I am Dr. Marcela Mineiro, medical advisor here at Bezan Healthcare in Brazil, and I'll be your host and also your interviewer today. In this episode, we will talk about natural progesterone in threatened miscarriage and luteal phase support with no less than the Farm Scientific and Medical Affairs Consultant for Bezan Healthcare, Dr. Paul Piet. Hi, Paul. Uh, so welcome to Brazil. It is a pleasure to have you here and uh, to, to talk about these uh, important topics today. Yes, thank you for inviting me and for this nice introduction. And uh, My name is Paul Piet and I'm a, a clinical biologist by training and I'm happy to share with you my 40 years experience with natural progesterone. And for sure, uh, progesterone is a fascinating molecule. Uh, it's quite older than myself. I'm 70 years old, but progesterone was born in 1920, 1925, when uh, a brilliant biochemist from Germany invents uh, the way to extract some uh, substances from the ovaries. And later on, we identify those substances as progesterone. And what is fascinating in this molecule, it's uh, that four Nobel Prizes were involved in the discovery, in the production, and also in the application for progesterone in modern medicine. So an old molecule, but with a lot of fascinating new indications. Also, Latin America was uh, involved in the development of this nice uh, molecule because it was a chemist uh, in Mexico who made progesterone available on a cheap way because in the 50s, the production of progesterone was about uh, 10,000 euros for one gram of progesterone. But uh, this guy in Mexico uh, find a way to produce a progesterone uh, on a very cheap way. And that's why nowadays we have natural progesterone in our uh, pharmaceutical compound and it's affordable by all the people and even if one of the cheapest progesterone available on the market. So yes, progesterone is a fascinating molecule and we can use it Uh, in a lot of indication because it's a multifaceted hormone. It works on hormone replacement uh, therapy and for endometrial protection who, for women who are taking hormone replacement therapy is gene to protect the endometrium. But progesterone recently was developed for the all pregnancy madness. And we need progesterone, which is a crucial hormone. It's a mother hormone. It's a mother molecule invent by mother nature to maintain pregnancy from conception until delivery. And we know now that you can use micronized progesterone in oil capsules by different route of administration, vaginal route, uh, oral route, even transdermal route of administration. And you can, for example, maintain pregnancy by treating a threatened miscarriage, recurrent miscarriage, to prevent preterm birth or to facilitate implantation as little phase support in our IVF patients. Yes, yeah, so Paul, such a lot of history and uh, indeed progesterone, uh, micronized progesterone is such a special and differentiated uh, formulation. So uh, you just talk a little bit about this, but What are the key points when prescribing natural micronized progesterone for threat and miscarriage? Okay, so the, the, the first point to take into consideration is that all formulations are not equal. So it's very important to look 
at the molecule progesterone, that's for sure, but also to the formulation, the way you administrate progesterone, the bioavailability, and nowadays it's a micronization process in oil delivered by soft capsule, which is the most optimal way to administrate progesterone at the target organ, which is the endometrium, because at, at the end of the day, what we want to have an efficient tissue concentration of progesterone where it's supposed to work, and for sure, if we speak about threatened miscarriage, is the endometrium the place where endom the implantation uh, occurs. So uh, what we also to have to take into consideration is the dosing. So we all know since a while that some synthetic progestogens were used for threatened miscarriage. But we know now, based on level one of evidence, placebo control study, big studies uh, that were done recently, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, that probably to be efficient, because one treatment doesn't fit all, because miscarriage is a syndrome, it's not a symptom. And to treat this syndrome, we have to identify the woman at risk who will benefit from a progesterone intake, and we clearly identify two risk factors. The first one is the history of previous miscarriages. Who more miscarriage in the index, who better progesterone works. Because the rate of aneuploid pregnancy, the one with chromosomal, chromosomal abnormalities, stay very stable across the woman with a history of one, two, three, or four miscarriages. And we all know that progesterone will not cure patients with threatened miscarriage if they have anoploid pregnancy, if they have karyotype malformation or abnormalities. So, who more miscarriage in the history, who better progesterone works, it will address the problem in euploid pregnancies. And the second risk factor is bleeding, threatened miscarriage. If you don't have a threatened miscarriage, it's probably not uh, optimal to administrate progesterone. So putting together a history of at least one previous miscarriage and threatened miscarriage, meaning bleeding, then for sure you have to administrate progesterone for chinal capsule 800 milligrams a day. That means four capsules of 200 or even better, two capsules of 400 milligrams uh, per day until uh, week 16 of gestation. And uh, we calculate, for example, in the UK, where you have about 70, uh, 700,000 deliveries a year, that you can save about 8,500 babies by administrating vaginal progesterone capsule in those women with threatened miscarriage and at least uh, one miscarriage in the history. Okay, Paul, good. And what about luteal phase support? Uh, how can we uh, use uh, micronized progesterone for this indication? So luteal phase support is another fascinating uh, history because uh, I met personally one of the Pope of IVF, which was uh, Professor Paul de Vrooy, which who was from my country in Belgium. And Paul de Vrooy was the inventor of what we call the ICSI methodology. So to inject one sperm in the oocyte, to fertilize the eggs. And at that time, uh, we were using progesterone by intramuscular road of administration, a very inconvenient and painful road of administration for our patients. And at the time, we were looking for a more friendly user formulation. And that's the way that we thought about this micronized progesterone in soft oil capsules. And we were uh, starting to administrate uh, four or 600 milligrams a day progesterone to support the luteal phase because all those women attending uh, IVF centers, they need progesterone for luteal phase support. In absence of luteal phase support, they cannot be pregnant. They cannot maintain their pregnancies. And nowadays, there are more and more fat cycles. We use uh, progesterone as luteal phase support in fat cycles because you, you prefer to replace the embryo in a subsequent cycle and not to use it in fresh cycle. And therefore, 
we use higher doses and uh, most of the centers now are using 800 milligrams of micronized prednisone daily so two capsules in the morning and two capsules at bedtime and it's vaginal apply because you want to be close from the, the endometrium to have optimal tissue levels and uh, that's the way now to uh, compensate luteal phase deficiency in those patients attending IVF centers. Okay, Paul. So uh, actually, progesterone, a micronized progesterone, is such a wonderful molecule. And uh, just before we, we before we finish, I have one more question for you. It is not on the script, but okay, don't freak out. It is an easy one. It is and it is not. Um, uh, that there is, uh, it's not, it's, uh, it's not related to the topic that we are talking today, but it's definitely related to progesterone uh, and micronized progesterone. So, what is this process of micronization of the the progesterone? What are the the the, the benefits so, of so, this? So, you don't need to be a, a big scientist to understand the, the process, but you need to remember your mathematics. And if you micronize the particle, the surface of the particle is increased uh, hugely and substantially. Because it's a sphere, the sphere, the surface of the sphere is growing one million when you decrease the size of the particle. And because this surface is so huge, the enzymatic degradation in the gastrointestinal tract is not possible anymore. The enzymes has no the time to destroy the particles of protestone before they attend the systemic uh, blood circulation. And so that's the way to circumvent this highly, uh, let's say, degradation of progesterone when you use it by the oral root of administration. But micronization is not enough. You need to micronize your particles in oil because progesterone is highly soluble in oil and that will accelerate the gastrointestinal tract passage. And that's the reason, a second reason why you can make your natural progesterone bioavailable, not only by oral, but the vaginal route of administration through due this micronization process in oil. And oh. that's also why you cannot compare all those other formulations because this micronization process in oil is unique. Interesting, Paul. Thank you for all your explanation. So unfortunately, uh, we come to the end of this episode of our Mulher podcast. Uh, today with the outstanding presence of Paul Piet. And I would like to thank you, Paul, again for this lovely interview, for your presence and with this great discussion. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And thanks to all the listeners who have listened so far to you. We hope you enjoyed the topic and we look, we look forward to see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>